All right, Lorenzo, here it is. The Weekender. This is Laura, Laura May over at Worldwide RV. So I'm gonna do a quick view of the outside and then the inside so you can remember the first one that you saw with me when we met a few weeks ago. So here it is. If you see here, you have the cover for, for a dual propane tank. It's a manual jack, which means you just crank it up and down yourself. You got, I, I keep calling it a jack, but it's a tongue, okay? It's called a tongue. You see that? It's manual. You just crank it up and down yourself. Here's the jack. You actually have four jacks. Um, if you can see the other one right there, and then right here on the other side, you'll have the same thing. So you just use a bit with your drill and put it up and down or there's a crank to put it up and down and those those basically will help stable it so that you don't walk into it and feel like you're floating on a boat or something so you're gonna you stable it for safety as well so nothing you know wobbles when people are inside but basically when you're traveling you put them up so that they don't don't hit the ground while you're traveling so a nice single step this goes right back in a tandem axle and these are these are nice powder coated rims the tandem axle is good so if you're traveling and a tire blows out you should have another tire usually to pull off safely from the road so that's a plus okay uh, nice big windows here an awning it's a manual awning right here you have to help to pull it out and once you pull it out then it comes out and then when you put it back in it goes in but but it's a nice awning here so that will end up giving you shade there's a light on the outside so at night you can see so you'll have a light there let's see what else is on this side so when you're outside if you have something that you need to plug in these are this is a 110 outlet there's two of them some storage underneath and some of the access that's the water heater right here but you'll see it from the other side on the outside but it's all covered to keep it insulated but that's where the water heater would be and uh, this is that crank for the jack or like I said you could get a drill bit and a power drill and put them down really easily too so for the bunks, you have windows. Each bunk has a window. I mean, this is actually a bunk and then a bed, right? So we'll go inside and see. But these windows open so you can have really great airflow. Here's the, the uh, bumper. And then there's that water heater. Should be a six gallon water heater. If you wanna get a spare tire, you can put a spare tire. Uh, sometimes people will put a grill. It looks like you can get something to put into here as well. I'm not sure what, what fits there, but there's probably some aftermarket or used part that you can get that goes there. It's probably a rack for a grill or, or a generator. So, so you get the reflectors and the brake lights, license plate spot. There's the other jack right there. This is your black tank. And gray tank so you have the valves I'll get a little closer so you can actually see this so you got the valves this is going to be underneath the, the bathroom and the shower so there's going to be one for the toilet and the shower and then one for the sink um, and then there's this is the low point drain that's where the water comes out there's the tandem axle again I like how big how, how it seems like there's a lot of extra space, you know, between the tire and, and here. So that's nice. Um, this is the back of the refrigerator. This is the um, heat exhaust from the kitchen area. This is your plug to wherever you're going camping or to a generator. This is a 30 amp. This is a microwave vent. If I scoot back, you'll see see some of the 
stuff on the roof, the AC and the, the vent and the um, skylight. And then there is one of the water connections. This is when you have to fill it up with water, fill your fresh water tank and have water. If you go to a destination and there's no water, then you use the water from your tank. So there's more window space, tons of window space. That's a spot where you can put water, like let's say you need from your water tank, you need to pour water into a can to put out the fire or whatever, then you can do that. Um, there's another water spot. All right, this is where the battery is. Right here is nice because you get a window, but you can close that when you're traveling. So you get the extra benefit of window instead of a wall. So let's go take a look on the inside. You wanted to sleep up to four, so this nice couch, all that nice window space, storage. So this couch goes down as a bed. And what's nice about it is it feels like it's a, an adult sized bed, you know? So that's a plus. There's some drawers here, a plug outlet, safety equipment. So you get the microwave, three burner stove, and an oven, two uh, sink, a dual sink here. That's nice with a regular faucet. Got the dinette. This can also go down as a bed. There's a spot for a TV connection, more storage. Here's the AC. So I'm gonna step back and come back in here. So you can see that I'm over by the couch and you can see how big and spacious this is. So here's another bed that has that their own window. And then there's the bunk right above with storage. Tons of storage. Look at all this storage, even down below. So, right by the storage is huge refrigerator. I think this might have been one reason you liked it too, is that you got a pretty good size. So you get the sink, medicine cabinet, and sink. So somebody, somebody could brush their teeth or put on makeup or whatever, you know, shave right here at the sink and somebody could be showering while someone else is using the sink. So that's another plus of this kind of model. So right here is the bathroom toilet with a, it looks like there's a foot flush. Let's see. Nope. It's a hand, hand flush right there. And then a pretty good sized tub. And there's that vent up above. Oh no, it was a vent. So, let's see. Not sure, I hope this video comes out okay. I'm gonna put this couch back up so you can see, see what it looks like. Oh, I didn't really notice this, but right behind the couch, if you have to set something down there, you can. So, so I would say this is a pretty good option. This is the one that is the payments that we talked about that you first saw and we told your daughter that you, you liked. <laughs> so, so I think uh, for what you want to spend and, and you know, being lucky to have this available, that's another plus. So, so I'm going to send this video to you once I upload it and send you the link to the the YouTube channel that I have so you know anyone else that might have watched this video this is Laura over at Worldwide RV off Maine and so I'm just you know I'm here to help you as well okay thanks so much